Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we'll be doing chapter 113, Surah Al Falak, the daybreak. Cool. Root letters Kawala. It's your feel Amr. And your fail Udua is Anta, with you one male. Means to say. Aoudu. Root letters Awada. Means to take refuge. It's your feel mudari or present future form. Your file or your doer is ana or I, which is represented by the prefix hamza. Birobbi. This is your jar or majurur concept. Bi means in or with. Rob is your lord, cherisher or sustainer. Al falak. This is your mudaf and ilay, which relates back to rob which is your mudaf and is the hidden al or definiteness concept. Al-falak means the dawn. The root letters falaka has got to do with splitting or cleaving. So if you look at the entire line, it is say, I take refuge or will take refuge with the Lord of the dawn. Having a look at verse number two, We've got Min Sharri. This is your Jarwa Majirur concept. Min means from, Shar means evil. Ma is in Madaf and Ilay. And it relates back to Shar, which is in Madaf and has the hidden Al or definiteness concept associated with it. Ma means what? In this case, we're dealing with the Ma Mosu. Khalaqa which means to create. It's your feel madin, or past tense verb. Your fa'il, or doer, is hua, the hidden hua, or he, inside the verb. So looking at the meaning of the entire line, we've got from, the evil, of, what, or which, he created. Having a look at verse number three, we've got wa, which is your vowel, artifa, or your conjunctive harf. Min sharri. This is once again your jar, wa majurur, concept. It means from, shar means evil. Ghasikin is your madaf nilay, relating back to shar as your madaf, which is the hidden definiteness concept. Khasik in itself is an active participle and with the root letters Khasaka which means darkness or dusk. Ida is your Dharf Zaman which is your time adverb and this creates a condition or shart. Wakaba means to darken or to be sunken. It's your feel margin or past tense verb, and the file or doer is the hidden hua or he inside the verb. Reading the entire sentence, we've got and from the evil of the darkness when it spreads or darkens. Have a look at verse number four. Wa min sharri. The wa is a wow artifa or conjunctive harf. Min sharri. Char wa majurur concept again. Min means from. Shar means evil. An nafathati. This is a mudaf nilay which relates back to shar, which is a mudaf with the hidden al definiteness concept. Nafathati, root letters nafatha, which means to blow. This is in the plural feminine form. Fil okad. This is your jarwa majurur concept once again. Fi means in. Al okad means not. So looking at the meaning of the entire line, we've got and from. The evil of the blowers, which is in a feminine form, in 
knots. Having a look at verse number 5, we've got Wamin Sharri. This follows the exact same pattern as we've done before, so I won't go through that again. Hasidin. Hasada means to envy. Hasidin is your active participle, which means it is the envier. It is your mudaf delay relating back to shar, which is your mudaf with the hidden owl concept. Ida is dharf zaman, or your time adverb, which creates a condition or shar. Hasada, as we know, means to envy. It's your feel madin, or past tense verb. The file or dua is huwa, the hidden huwa, or he inside the verb. Reading from the start of the verse, we've got and from the evil of the envier when he envies.